Uh, hey, come in. Hi, Dr. Jolly. Uh, yeah. Grace Gorman with ADP. How are you today? Were you aware I was coming into the office today? I know it's a Sunday, so I'm sure you weren't expecting this. I thought you might be Leanne or somebody else in the office. Yeah, um, well, I actually spoke with Leanne. We set up a meeting a couple of days ago um, for about 20 minutes. Are you still available to talk? She did not tell me you were coming. Yeah, and I'm very sorry that happened. I know it's a Sunday, but, you know, the reason I'm really excited to be here today is... What are you doing working on a Sunday? On a, I know. What are you doing working on a Sunday? Well, for me, I mean, I'm just hitting hard during the week, and it's, yeah. it's just after church. I'm just trying to catch up on a few things. Yeah, well, um, you're a hard worker. I'd love to take 20 minutes of your time. I, I really see a lot of value in meeting today, and I'd love to explain why I do see that value, um, um, if you're available. All right, well, I'll, uh, go ahead. Um, have Thank a seat. you. Um, yes. Hang on, I'm working... Mm working on a few things. Absolutely. What are you working on there? Oh, I'm just doing some HR stuff. Some HR stuff, Yeah, catching up. Just, yeah, finishing up some records. It's just stuff to, I don't know. I just, after we get done on the... It's, this is my kind of quiet time. <laughs> Absolutely, when no one's in the office. Well, it's yeah. funny you say you're you're working on HR right now um, because that's why I'm here. Um, I'm actually very excited to meet with you today, Dr. Jolly, um, for many reasons. We actually say, share a very similar mission statement. You know, you're creating smiles on all your all your clients' faces yeah. um, by a friendly environment, by having a friendly environment, and then an exceptional dental care. And we at ADP do the very do a very similar thing. Uh, we're taking the burden of HR, like you're doing right now, and payroll off of their backs so they can focus on impacting their bottom line and growing their business like your dentist office. Um, so that's why I'm excited to be here today, and I'm, I'm looking forward to okay. exploring that a little more. Um, All right, well, I'll tell you what. You're here. If you made that effort, I'll talk to you for a minute. I'm I just... so appreciate that, okay. especially on a Sunday. So yeah. thank you, Dr. Jolly. Um, but is 20 minutes okay for you? I know that's what I set up with Leanne. Um. Let's just see how it goes. Okay. I probably don't have more than that. Absolutely. So we'll not be more than that, okay. I can guarantee. Um, but just to put a stake in the ground, since you didn't know this meeting was occurring today, what do you currently know about ADP? Um, no, I just heard the name of the company. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Okay, yes. Well, once again, just to reintroduce myself and give you an overview, my name is Grace Gorman, your personal representative. Okay. Um, and I am an ADP representative. And ADP is the world's largest payroll provider. Um, we currently have over 700,000 customers with a 95% retention rate. Um, and specifically of those 700,000 customers, 70% um, of those are small businesses like yourself. Yeah, um, okay. So I, that get, does that give you a better understanding of ADP as a whole? Not really, but <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I mean, well, I understand it's a big company, but um, um, well, like, what do y'all, what do you, I, what do y'all actually do? Is it, is it HR or is it payroll? Really, payroll is the primary focus. Or? Absolutely. So I like to say we're we're like all inclusive. Um, okay. We not only help you with your payroll process, but we help you risk manage and also manage HR. So we help you people manage, cash manage, and risk manage. Okay. Does that give you a better understanding? Okay. And we can dive into that in depth a little later, and I can actually show you exactly how that looks as well. Okay. Um, but just to make the most out of out of your time here today, because I know it's a Sunday, um, before I walk out of this door, what would you like to accomplish today? <laughs> you know, honestly, Grace, I just didn't have any agenda. I was just saying yeah. you were working. Um, so, you know, maybe if you could ask questions that are relevant to what you would want to know, I might be able to answer them. I'm sorry, just... No. I usually prepare for meetings. I just didn't know you were coming. That's so. completely okay. And you know what? I'll just ask you further okay. questions, and we can take everything step by step from there. All right, um, but moving forward, I'm going to take you through a consultative approach. Like I said, ask you a few questions and see if any of your critical needs line up with our key benefits as a whole. How does that sound? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so Dr. Jolly, I understand you're the guy, you're the dentist here at this office. Um, as far as making a decision about a potential HR or payroll process, does anyone else need to be involved and what is their role? No, it's all me. I'm, it's all I'm, I actually do all, this, all of it. You handle all HR and payroll. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for sharing that. And then as far as criteria, when let's say you're looking into forming a relationship or going into a system for a payroll and HR system, what's your criteria, your top one to two decision criteria? I don't know. I mean, I use QuickBooks now, okay. so that's what I that's what I have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I might even have the records on what it what I'm doing. That for. I've had it. Mm -hmm. You know, when we took over the practice, I kind of put that in place, and I just kind of 
just used it and you know I've just been always the one that's done it okay so you're using QuickBooks to ex execute yeah. all of that yeah. and process your payroll yeah I mean I, if I've, I've never talked about any kind of payroll assistance I, you mm -hmm. know my sister's husband works with a payroll company okay so and they do it but I've never really talked to them about it okay great well thank you for sharing that information and, and before we move forward I was able to actually collect some relevant facts about your business um, from Leanne and I want to just confirm those with you okay. well. I'm a visual learner so I was able to put this okay, on a little fine. something here but before talking about relevant facts, I wanted to ask you, typically when I work with dentist office or other doctor's office in the area, um, they outsource on things like accounting, management, and technology. Are you currently doing that? I know you said you're outsourcing for, for QuickBooks um, for the payroll Yeah, process. well, I do that, and then, you know, for the compliance stuff, they, they charge me like 100 bucks a month. Okay. Um, on, or 100 bucks a quarter, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So I pay like, I guess, 400 and then, you know, I maybe the upgrade comes out maybe once a year but so i'll probably do that 500 bucks a year okay 500 bucks a year for yeah. that okay thank you for sharing that and then if you go ahead and move over here um you currently have one location with nine employees is that correct uh -huh. okay and then frequency how often are your your employees being paid um we do every two weeks every two weeks yeah. okay great and you said you're using QuickBooks. Can you talk to me a little bit about your decision process when deciding to work with QuickBooks? Uh, why you chose them? Well, I mean, just when I I just knew other dentists, and that's mm -hmm. you know one of my good friends, so that's what I use. So when I took over this practice, I was like, well, okay, I don't know anything else. I'll just do that. Absolutely, and so uh, it was kind of by default, by kind of by recommendation. By recommendation, mm -hmm. and and right now, what are you missing from QuickBooks? What do you think you still need from them? Nothing really. I mean, it works fine. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So no, I'm, I'm not. I guess I wasn't looking for anything different. I, I don't even know if I would know what would be different. I just kind of is what it is. Just use it. Just get it done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's that's, necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So on a weekly, on a biweekly basis, um, how often, how many hours are you spending um, processing payroll? I know you're here on a Sunday working on yeah. HR. Um, yeah. Well, if I. Uh, I'd say to actually do the payroll, I usually do it like Thursday at the end of the day or every other Thursday. So it takes me about an hour. Okay, about an hour. Yeah. Okay. And then as far as HR, what's your current process for, for HR as well? Mostly it's just making sure I don't screw anything up. Just mm -hmm. keep it in compliance. You know, those regulations will change and I'll just kind of, you know, and I guess the um, there's some of that that I can pick up, but that's... You know, I, it just take probably to do the the taxes and the compliance and everything. It's about I'm probably doing that on a quarterly basis. Got to got because I got to do taxes and stuff. So Absolutely. that averages about 15 hours. 15 hours annually or on a quarterly. quarterly? Okay, yeah. so that's about 16 hours. Um, that's a lot of time. And mm -hmm. what would you rather be doing with that time if you didn't have to worry about the burden of payroll and HR? I've never thought about not work, not having to do it. So, um, you know, there's, you know, I'm a single guy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's probably other things I could be doing. I've just yeah. been working so hard with this. It's like sometimes I feel like my social life kind of, you know, gets put on the back burner. Or Absolutely. So. And, and, uh, you know, so, but I've just been working really hard with the practice and I want to, you know, I'm going to probably expand it too. So um, it's just takes a lot of time. Yeah, yes, I mean, I've been willing to pay it, pay the price early on, but you know, <laughs> I don't want to end up being the old guy with with a big practice and no friends, you know. Absolutely, and you so mentioned um, expanding. Um, can yeah. you talk to me a little about a little bit about your one to two personal and professional goals that you have for the company? Right yeah, now? well, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna have been talking to the Augusta Dental School. Mm -hmm. That's where I went, and um, they're you know to maybe pull somebody out of there that wants to start in a practice and get some experience and bring them on board and then I, I'd like to open up a second practice so if I can groom that person to take over it and then maybe bring in somebody new to to replace them and so we've got enough work that I can I'm close to being able to have a second mm -hmm. you know full-time person here mm -hmm. but then I like to have an office or two others that I can grow absolutely and growth is important especially yeah. in your industry 
And when you have 16 hours working on HR and payroll stuff that's necessary but not really impacting your bottom line, um, what problems will you face for your future goals if you still have to spend that much time? I just haven't really thought that far ahead. Absolutely, and yeah. I'm here to just explore those possibilities with you and okay. really help you reach your goals. Okay. Um, but just a final question um, about your dentist office specifically. How many chairs do you have there? Um, there are six in the office here. In the office, and are yeah. you booked 100% of the day? Pretty much. Pretty much booked at 100% of the day? Yeah. Okay, and I mean, then... Unless people cancel out, but I mean, generally, generally I'm, you know, I'll start at 7.30 and then, you know, I can go to 4.30 and a lot of times don't stop except to grab the half hour for lunch. Absolutely. The office. Absolutely. And we found from the American Dental Association that when there's an empty chair, it can cost up to $500 um, in lost revenue, yeah. um, especially when they cancel. Um, so if you were able to get those 16 hours back, um, not have to stay on Sundays and be away from your family, and yeah. also just be able to hit that revenue and, and keep billing hours. Yeah. What Y'all value do, would you see in that? Y'all do not cancellation software. <laughs> no, I wish, but... Um, Some of these turkeys that bail out the last <laughs> minute, it's like, okay, you're going to get the shittiest appointment next time. I, I understand, but, you know, I see a, see a lot of opportunity here, and I want you to be able to go home to your family on Sundays and not be here. Yeah, um, well, I don't have a family to go home to right now, but I can probably still do other things. Well, have some time to yourself yeah, and then but, also work on work on expanding that those businesses and open up some new new dentist office. So yeah. I'd love to take you through um, a presentation to show you exactly how we can aid you aid you in that growth. Okay. How does that All right, happen? I'll take a quick look. Great, thank you. Um, so, you know, I like to compare our process to a Swiss Army knife, kind of like all the tools you have in a dentist office. Um, yeah. It's one tool at the palm of your hand I can do many different things at once. Yeah. And just like that, our ADP Run Mobile application does the exact same thing. Okay. Um, within one application, we allow you to cash manage, people manage, and risk manage your business. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take you through a demo to show you exactly how we can do that. All right. For the sake of today's meeting, would you like to see our HR processes and what we can provide you there? Show me just a basic payroll thing. That's basic payroll? Easy. Yeah. Okay. So if we could go ahead and press um, view demo. So what happens here is your, your employees are either going to clock in via time clock or web-based. Um, and all that information is then taken right into this application. Okay. Um, we're going to press resume weekly payroll, if you could go ahead and press okay. that there. We like to say this is done five clicks in five minutes. Payroll can be completed. You said okay. you're spending about an hour. Yeah, we're going to cut that down for you. All right. um, so here you'll see we have the start date, the end date, direct deposit, which can be turned on or off as you please per employee. Okay. Um, if you go ahead and press resume. On this next page, you're going to see a list of all your employees. For the sake of this demo, it is a bunch of random names. But if you could go ahead and press on one of the names, that okay. would be great. And you can see in here that you're going to know the exact amount of hours um, your employees have been working, the sick hours, vacation hours. These are all deducted within the application. Okay. You can also see the total amount of money that you're going to need to have from the bank as well. If you could go ahead and press preview, calculate. Um, and before it is all calculated, you're able to review all the pay stubs um, to see exactly how much money and taxes are being deducted. Um, okay. There's over 400 tax changes every year. Um, which I'm sure you know accounts to a lot of paperwork on your desk. We yeah. take care of all of that for you. But, uh, that, I mean, I get that in my updating QuickBooks mm -hmm. too, so um, is that, I mean, it's fine that it does it. I'm hoping it would because I, I would expect it to. Mm -hmm. Yes, and what, what's really great about this is that when you look at this, you said that QuickBooks does it as well, but if there's any issues, if anything's inaccurate, um, ADP takes the liability of all of that. Okay. Um, does that relieve your concern or, or differentiate it a little bit for you? It could. I mean, I'm manually putting in the numbers, you know, kind of what I got it up and running. This looks like it might be a little more user friendly. Absolutely. And then if you could just press approve right here. Okay. As simple as that, payroll is done. Um, you know, you just said that you're currently manually processing payroll. We found that it's a 45 step process um, yeah. for people that are doing that manually. We cut it down to five. Okay. Okay. Five easy, easy, easy steps. Okay. Um, so how would you use something like this for your business? Well, I mean, you could give me 55 minutes a week back, so or every other week. So I guess that's a, that's a, in the right direction for sure. 
Tell me about the HR stuff. Yes, I was actually just going to go there. Um, so with HR, we're helping you shield your business. Okay. Um, I know you're currently working on HR here. Yeah, um, this one's a little more, I guess, payroll is just a little bit of time consumption. Mm -hmm. This one can be a little bit stressful sometimes. It's like, a, you know, I don't look forward to it. So mm -hmm. like, yeah, talk to me about that. Now. Yeah, well, I, of course you don't look forward to it because you're stuck in the middle. You have right. your employees on one end and the government on the other. Right. Um, yeah. So we're helping you shield yourself from that. Um, for example, through the U.S. government, you can have issues with compliance and fines. And then with your employees, unlawful termination. Mm -hmm. And unlawful termination can account to up to $40,000, um, which is a big deal. And that yeah. could have a major impact on your business. So what do we do for you? We provide you with our HR. 411 package. Okay. Um, you have a dedicated HR specialist. I like to say I'm the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole team to support you behind me. Yeah. Um, with Let me ask you a question. So this looks like it could be kind of detailed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, since it was, I just didn't have my mind on this when you came Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Um, could you check back with me maybe in three to six months and then maybe kind of see where I am? Let me just kind of, you know, pond, you know, kind of have an idea that might be another option out there. Absolutely. And maybe go through another quarterly cycle, and if it's like, this really does stink, I need to get that girl from ADP back mm -hmm. in here. Um, is that okay? Yeah, and I completely understand how you feel. I've had many people in the past feel the exact same way. Um, the reason I'm so eager to be here today is because I know that these resources, these HR resources, will allow you to not be in the office on Sundays. Um, not only that, but we currently have um, something going on where if you sign by the end of the month, um, we have two months of free payroll for you. Okay. Um, so that is why I'm so eager to get the process moving here. Okay. Um, what does it cost to actually do? Yeah, like, let me no. show you that really quick. Okay, so for our payroll and HR process, you said you currently have nine employees. Correct. So yeah. you're going to look right here, and this is going to be the cost of the payroll and HR process altogether. Um, you said you're currently outsourcing. Um, you will no longer have to spend that amount of money outsourcing when you can have it all in one compact usage. Yeah, but what, what now? Also, so I'm in for you know 400 bucks a year. Now I'm talking 2,500 a year. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to tell me to go. What's when, when I have a system that's working okay? <laughs> it's an extra you know, two grand to go, what does it really get me that I don't already have or I desperately need? Absolutely, and I completely understand how you feel. Yeah. Um, you haven't been able to see the results yet because we just met today. Yeah. Um, but I actually was able to see very much, some a lot of similarities between you and Elegant Smiles. Um, they're a different branch, obviously not located near you or competitor yeah, at okay. all. But um, I was able to find some information um, from them and how we impacted them as a whole. We eliminated up to $30,000 in potential lawsuits. Not only that, but we eliminated $4,000 in government compliance fines. Um, you told me, you know, HR has a major stress on you. If we were able to do that for your business, how would that impact you? I, but, but this is kind of assumptive to say that I would have a $30,000 lawsuit. I know it's potential, but right. I don't think we have anything close to that so I I mean how often do dentists get fined I mean I don't ever remember my dad ever getting a fine or maybe he just never told me yeah and like I said um, it unfortunately it does happen because there's over 400 yeah. tax changes a year and in the ACA handbook it's 14,000 pages um, yeah. so people get past this and they they forget something or they don't see something and that can result in in changes in your business immediately yeah um, so what I want you to do, why don't you reach out to this company, have a conversation with them about how ADP worked yeah. for them, um, because I want to walk before we run, before we sprint. Yeah. Let's okay. take this slow here. I know you weren't expecting the meeting, um, but we're on, already on step two. Yeah. Um, so I'd love to come back, um, meet with you again next week, bring a team with me to talk to you more about the details and how ADP can be okay. work here. Well, as I say, I, I'm not unhappy with what I'm working, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm going to give you if you made the effort to come here and if you think that if you're saying there's other people like me mm -hmm. I'm, I may be just dealing with an awareness thing so I'm, yeah. I'm open at least to listen but okay. I'd probably say if we do it where I'm a little bit more prepared and I go I know I've got the time absolutely a lot of it, and uh, you know you're probably gonna leave I'm gonna go back to absolutely. this stuff and go yeah why am I doing absolutely. this absolutely well but, why don't we put so, a tentative date on the calendar for now okay. next Tuesday 
at? Probably, probably best steak for me. I usually okay. close up um, Friday unless I have a special case. Um, you know, usually okay. patients are out of here. Okay. Well, sure. Thank you. Good time. Thank you. Okay. All right. We'll do it. Thank you so. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right, what's guys. your name? Jim. Jim. Grace. Thank you yeah, so much. Nice for to help. see you. Thank you. You're a great buyer. You're tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right.